Hampshire, the New Forest, Bewley, chocolates, chocolates, handmade chocolates from the Bewley Chocolate Parlour. For seven years, Ruth and Alan Liversedge have been making their own handmade chocolates and selling them from their chocolate parlour here in Bewley Village. They began by selling their chocolates to Harrods, Fortnum & Mason, Liberties and Selfridges and then converted their tea rooms into this delightful Victorian chocolate parlour. There are three basic types of chocolate. First, what's known as an enrobed chocolate, where a pre-made hard centre is placed on a conveyor belt and covered in a layer of molten chocolate. These centres could be marzipan, Brazil nuts, fudge or coconut ice, for example, and each will be hand-decorated before passing through a cooling tunnel to harden. Then there's moulded chocolate. As the name suggests, different shaped moulds are lined with molten chocolate. They are then allowed to cool and harden before the cream filling is piped in. Ruth and I have created a special cream centre which isn't produced anywhere other than at Bewley Chocolate Parlour. We don't use a fondant, which is the usual method. We make a cream centre with a very high butterfat content cream powder which gives a very rich flavour. This flavour isn't sweet. This is a deliberate attempt in order to create a cream centre which carries a natural flavour. Any more description of the method than that and I'd be giving away trade secrets. Everybody seems to like the fresh cream truffles. They're the most favourite, I think. Um, anything from just the chocolate flavoured through to the brandy, the sherry, we do a Cointreau, whiskey, that's popular with dads. Um, all the fruit flavours everybody likes. Although the standard fillings are now made in batch cookers, they still use the smaller copper pans for any experimental work or for special individual orders. An expanding side of the business is the development of speciality products for commercial outlets. For example, Fortnum and Mason asked for a product based on plain chocolate and almonds, and Ruth and Allen developed this delicious and highly original New Forest Bark. As well as the chocolates, they also produce these beautiful marzipan fruits. One of the things that makes our range of products special, especially in the chocolate line, is the handcrafted marzipan work. This is all uh, done on the premises by myself or a few of the trained staff who have taken a number of years to develop ideas in which marzipan products are produced in a different way than we've seen done before. Our packaging is special because we design most of it ourselves. Alan draws the designs, we have them made up in our colours, which are burgundy and gold, mostly. The burgundy collection forms the basis of the standard range of products. When customers choose their own selection from the display in the shop, the chocolates are then packed into these takeaway boxes. And then throughout the year, a variety of these pretty seasonal tins are available. And seasonal products, too. These beautiful handmade chocolates have been so successful and the chocolate parlour itself so popular that a company has now been formed to assist in the setting up of franchises around the country. This former jewellers in Southampton was the site of the first pilot shop. But before any transformation takes place, the potential franchisee is guided through all the preliminaries by the company. For an initial fee, the new layout is designed and plans are drawn up. Details of the standard furnishings and fittings are discussed and a complete feasibility study is produced. 
and prepare them in the form of a cash flow which will enable you to take it yeah. to your bank and uh, organize the funding. This package can then be presented to the bank when negotiating the loan. At this stage, the potential franchisee can drop out if they change their minds, but if the project goes ahead, the fee for this feasibility study is absorbed into the overall costs. Keeping costs to a minimum was essential during the conversion of this derelict shop in the centre of Southampton High Street, and the skill and expertise of the company made sure that no time was wasted. Just a few weeks after work first started, the new chocolate parlour was ready for opening by Lord Montague of Bewley. We are certainly very proud of the chocolate factory in Bewley. It is uh, famous throughout the world now, in fact. When friends come and stay with us, they always come and get chocolates to take away. And I know that the quality of Beauty Chocolates is very high indeed and respected. So I'm sure that, what, that this first Beauty branch outside Beauty will be a great success and I hope there are many more. So with that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Beauty Chocolate Parlor. Within weeks of opening, the chocolate parlour becomes a welcome meeting place for local people who can now chat over coffee and cakes or muffins as well as enjoy the chocolates. Well, I like it because it's homely, because it's small and cosy. And uh, I particularly like the fire in the winter. Well, uh, I brought my friend here today and uh, we think it's a very nice, cosy atmosphere. Um, I like the decor. I think it's very comfortable and cosy, very cosy. It's just a very relaxing atmosphere and the chance to stop and have a cup of coffee in the middle of a busy morning. The atmosphere is really cosy. Like the chocolates, I might add. <laughs> Having just tasted the chocolates, I'm most impressed with them. Well, the shop is far too tempting for me, <laughs> especially after Christmas, but I have bought chocolates here and they're delicious. The chocolates are some of the best that I've had. Um, there's a, a large variety, quite a lot of white chocolates, which is my absolute favourite. Um, and the marzipan is heaven. I mean, the, the marzipan apples are actually green inside, like real apples, and taste of apple, which is wonderful. It's got a nice feel to it. If this is typical of your shops, I think it'll be a great success. I think it's super. Once the parlour is opened and running, the franchisee will have the backup of a full management support service. This covers everything from management accounting to participation in national advertising. But at the same time, being a family business, the personal touch and the sense of individuality remains. I think that one there would be nice. Yeah. Whether it's choosing that special present for someone you love, indulging in just a few delicious chocolates for yourself, or enjoying a cosy chat with a friend over a cup of coffee and muffins. Bewley Chocolate Parlours offer something for everyone. 
Bewley Chocolate Parlours, an old-fashioned touch of luxury in a busy modern world.